A sanctuary for rescued horses and ponies in Liverpool. These animals are recovering from a damaged past, and so are the men working with them. It's called equine therapy, and is part of a unique program run by Tom Harrison House, a rehab centre for alcoholic veterans. Now, at first glance, these horses and veterans with drink issues may not seem to have much in common. But all these horses and veterans have suffered years of abuse. And working here, the veterans with the horses gives them something they haven't experienced for a long time. A sense of responsibility, teamwork and a real sense of achievement. This is Flo and Alex. Flo is a wild New Forest pony who's terrified of men. She was brought here with an injury two years ago and has never settled. Alex is a former Royal Navy Marine engineer and an alcoholic. Now watch what happens. Flo takes some carrot from Alex for what is only her second time ever. Last week I was lucky enough to, to stroke her and get close and uh, feed the horse. So we're, we're making ground, which is similar to what we're like. We're gaining trust with the animals and they're trusting us and seeing the way forward. Leading the session is veteran Paul Connor, who's completed his treatment and who now works part-time for Tom Harrison House as a mentor. His own drink problems began after leaving service with the Irish Guards. So from the army, I went to prison, shut spent and done a long spell in prison. Come out of prison, went home, I was home for about a year. Then I put myself on the streets, lived on the streets for like 12 years. But in that time I was using drugs and in the end I picked up, I was drinking and I couldn't stop drinking so I made myself an alcoholic. He tried civilian treatment centres but found he couldn't speak about his military background. He credits the charity with saving his life. Life's fantastic, I got my um, family back in my life. I haven't been as happy, I've never been as happy since I was in the army because all that time drinking and using Everything was suppressed, but now I've been clean 20 months. This is Tom Harrison House in Anfield, one of three houses owned by the charity, as well as the equine therapy, there's personal training, yoga, art therapy and five-a-side football. Inside, a one-to-one -one session is taking place. Jackie Johnston Lynch set up the charity two years ago, following her own personal tragedy. In my family, kind of pretty much every generation uh, had some form of addiction or alcoholism in the family. And the only person who didn't was my brother. And then my brother was killed by a drink driver who had a series of multiple offences. And so for me, um, I felt that my personal pain had to be turned into something purposeful. The charity has a success rate of 86%, which Jackie credits partly to the men's shared military experience. The government funding will give Tom Harrison House a chance to continue its work, but with just 12 beds available and four daycare places, demand is high. The Ministry of Defence maintains that alcoholism is no higher among veterans than it is among the civilian population. In a statement, it told us, the majority of armed forces personnel manage social drinking in moderation and transition exceptionally well without succumbing to alcohol dependency. Last summer, a working group was launched to identify what more can be done to tackle alcohol misuse in the armed forces. The group is introducing a screening tool to identify misuse of alcohol as well as considering an alcohol app. But former Royal Green Jacket Joe says there's still a drinking culture within the armed forces that can take its toll. Basically, I'd uh, split up my wife um, and about uh, 18 months ago, and um, and that was due to addiction um, problems. Um, my main addiction at that time was, was gambling, and that affected our relationship for years. Um, and then I started drinking, um, started drinking when the gambling stopped and I was going to GA and, and stuff and but my wife used to say to me that um, she was scared and even though I never raised hands or anything like that I'd smash things up and smash the house up I'd turn so as I have a drink so my eyes would change and I'd go to this different person. 
Joe ended up living back with his parents, but was arrested after they were injured during one of Joe's drunken binges. But Tom Harrison House got involved, and the judge took the unusual decision to sentence him not to jail, but to rehab. Those still going through the program have their own stories to tell, and their own conclusions to reach. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Liverpool. Early this morning, and the men, women and horses of King's Troop are preparing for a busy month on Queen's Guard. It was 2007 when Mark lost both legs and his right arm in Afghanistan.